Well, I don't know if I have the energy for this. We'll see. I had talked about, I got a couple totes filled with bags and stuff I've had from the past. And, and not too much high-end stuff. And now I'm starting to look at the high-end stuff. And you've all seen this before, my Betsy Johnson's. So let's see how I gonna have enough. Excuse me. Uh, but anyways, my Betsy Johnson. And I did do a video which I didn't upload because it was just too too much stuff. Um, I have a billfold here I haven't used yet. And this is the hobo, which I just love. I got it for 22 bucks at the uh, outlet store. Um, which, uh, wait a minute, let me think a minute, Nordstrom Rack. And it's such soft leather. Um, but the compartment is fine. All of this is fine. Except I'm, I wish it had one more like this opening. Because I don't know if there's enough room for my stuff. And it's so soft. But I have that. And I don't know if I showed you this. Oh, see, things are getting dented in there. This is like a little Steve Madden purse and purse. See what happens when you have stuff in storage? It just kind of sits around. I don't know what was poking on it. Probably one of these. This is one is leather here. Um, just a little something or other. And what have we got here? This is not leather. I probably got it at the resale store for 50 cents. And I had to get it. But I like it. I haven't used it. Uh, this I think I got at Marshall's. It's just a little. Oh yeah, tags in here. $9.99. Or it was I thinking. Oh, that's a lot of money for this. Uh, Nina is at the brand. You know, I've got my tripod set up to the side of me, so I don't know. I hope everything's going to be okay. I'm going to try to do this fast. i got two tubs full of stuff. Okay, we've all seen my Betsy Johnson with my little doodads. Uh, here's my other Betsy Johnson in the black. Here's my, my puffball thing that I got when I was at uh, MK at Michael Kors. And that's another um, Betsy Johnson. And what happens, you see how I like a soft bag, but then it poofs down. And all those newer bags I see, you know, they're so stiff and stuff. And I'm not used to that. I, I like a soft bag. Okay, those are those. Keep moving here. Let's see. This is, this is, uh. Uh, a buckles bag, I believe. I paid fifty-four dollars for this one. Fifty fifty-four ninety-five, and I love it. It's it's a suede, and it has this stuff. It does have a shoulder strap, but the drop on this bugger is wonderful. It's uh, big enough to just be beautiful. Okay, I'm getting another call from my friend, but I'm gonna. Ignore that so I can keep doing my video here. And what else? This is a newer edition. This one here is, a, oh God, you guys can read that name. Enzo Angelini. And where did I get that, of course, but Burlington. It's gold. Has the straps, crossbody. The compartments here. A zipper this. This, I haven't used it yet. I'm a hoarder, I guess. And this one was $14.99. Supposedly $78. And it's not leather, I'm sure. It's probably some kind of plastic from China that's going to emit a smell that's going to do me in. No, it won't happen. Bless me. <laughs> but anyways, here's something else I got uh, for $3.99. Just a little from Burlington. If I use this, I need a small bag. Little makeup bag from somewhere or other. Okay, this I was watching Lori and Sophie. God, I'm going to have a big mess when I get done with this. I'm just piling everything up. Uh, she had gotten this. It's a Vera Bradley, and I thought this is just great for a walk. Um, 
I did use it one time, but I keep my tag on. I think this was $12 or something. But anyways, I can put my phone. But I like putting my phone in the, the zipper part. Oh, there it is. $16.99. Because uh, I think it might fall out of here. But this was crossbody. Great for going for a walk. Okay. I love the Kipling. Big, soft, big, nice drop. Pockets, big, that's a real deep pocket on that side. And the two zipper pockets here. The interior, got a little something on there. Oops, I don't know what's in there. <laughs> Goodies. But anyways, that's one of my Kipling bags, which I love. And it really didn't come with a monkey. It just came with this little thing here. Okay. Here's a comp, casino comp. Not leather, made in China. Teal color, blue, big fluffy bag. <laughs> I don't know. I've worn it. worn it maybe once or twice. I don't know. This is a wonderful. I dug this one out. This is a little crossbody baby. I'll show you the tag in a minute. Very soft leather. This is actually better for the walk because it goes with everything. i got to be careful there. It doesn't. Oh, such soft leather. And this is a Thomas Leathers. Very nice. Very beautiful. I really didn't need that little Vera Bradley dog if I have this. No, some things that didn't crunch there. i got to be careful of that. Here's some old no name brand, just fun, pink interior, silver straps, boogie bag, I guess. Ugh. I wear the same thing every day, you know. And my dollar store, resale store at the church. What did I find here? This is China plastic, and it's not good. Must have a shoulder strap with it, too. I like the green, heavy. What's inside? I like these big bags. See inside there? <laughs> oh my god. If it wasn't a dollar, I wouldn't have got it. Same day I got this one. This is good. This is handy. It has a little piece of paint on it. That's probably why they got rid of it. Not leather, I'm sure. No, it's not leather. I've had to doctor the corners up with a... a felt pen and what is it oh it's a Morona Morona Target needs to be cleaned up I guess anyways uh, I figured I needed a bag to carry stuff around and uh, okay this is a nice one this one I like it's probably not leather it's got a gold interior it says made in China. Jesus. You know, this in California they mark their bags. I've seen bags where California actually says this bag is known to contain chemicals that causes cancer. And I mean a hundred years from now, if we do exist and survive, we will look back on this and say, What were these people thinking? Everything's poison around us. I sound like a nut, don't I? But anyways, this is this is kind of fun. I like the color. It's green. I don't think I've ever worn it. Okay, here's one that needs some fixing. This the leather needs to be conditioned. It's big. It's heavy. No, it's not that big. And it's a um, oh come on, it's the TV show. This is a Mikowski. Is that how you say it? And I got this resale, of course, because the color got faded, and it was turned in, and it's heavy. If I ever get around to put, I don't want to dye it, but that's a good blue jean bag. Okay, next, here's a little suede jobby I used to use. Hundred years ago, I got a lot of bags, don't I? Got a lot of everything. Okay, 
And that says, oh, it's a Saks Fifth Avenue. Oh, my goodness, I got a Saks bag and didn't even know it. <laughs> okay. I think it's real. Well, let's look at that tag again. I got Kleenex in here or something. Better take that out. Oh, a receipt. Looking for something. Okay, tag. Let's see what that says. M made in Uruguay, Saks Fifth Avenue. I kind of like that one. But it has a nice drop. I like a, you know, a nice, I don't know. This, not only does it have the drop, it's got this that adds to it. I think I figured, you know, you got to have at least a 9 or a 10 inch drop. My 11 makes me really happy. Okay. Just a little crossbody that I thought is cute, you know. This is all resale stuff. I honestly I don't buy anything new. And this is the brand on that one. I just like collecting things. That goes really pretty, just sitting right there. Okay, let's keep going. That's my doily I made. Okay. This is another big bag just for running around. Look at I got my on the tube. I got my own video going. <laughs> that must be my coach, the coach bay, uh, video. Okay, so anyways, this is kind of a, a green, an olive green in the film. It looks gold, just soft. I don't know if it has a brand. I watch the time. Oh, this is the brand. Okay, again, just resale stuff, just a dollar or so. Here's a felt, uh, is this felted wool? This is really cute. It's, um, uh, any brand in that? Ooh, silk, made in Nepal. Yeah, that's a nice one. I should wear a different bag every day for something different. But, you know, everything's all packed away all the time. I don't have enough room to show. I have this hanging out there. And here, I used to use these a lot in the past. And this one is uh, the sack. The sack. Very nice, tight knit. Great for when you just want. You know, I carry so much, though, you know. That's why I'm trying to get those smaller wallets. This is good, but I always want my makeup. I want my brush. I want my phone. I want my money. I carry everything with me. That's why I like those big bags. These, I don't, are hard for me to travel light because I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. Okay, here, I don't know what this is, but I love it. It's plastic, probably made in China again. Oh. Like I say, plus the materials around here. Plants help to purify the air. But this is kind of like a beach beach bag. And gold. I like anything gold, shiny, grassy. Okay, there's that. Talk about gold and grassy. Here's... Uh, can you see this bag? Okay. This is just a little difficult to get into sometimes. But it's the weave... I don't think it's any brand, and I really liked wearing this. I got a lot of gumdrops in there. Well, if there was a brand, there it is. But it's got the rings. It's been needs to be puffed out, but anyways. Nice, long, I guess suppose like a crossbody. Generally use a shoulder. I'm not used to a crossbody. Plastic again. This is Burlington. I got a lot of these little Tommy bags. Again, too small. I was on a buying spree, I guess. $15. Cute little Tommy. If I ever need a little bag. This bag I loved. I kind of wore it out. It's got that fun interior with a little extra bag to go with it. I think it's a Saks. Yeah. 
a sax. I love the color. This bag here fits in like so. I mean, people have really nice bags and quality luxury bags. Probably all laughing at me. Oh well. You can laugh. Another gold bag. Tar uh, Burlington. I was going shopping with a friend of mine. That's what we did for fun, I guess. And this, of course, is the Nine West. Long crossbody. Oh, and I wear the same thing every day. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, here's another resale one I could not resist. Just getting it's on its last leg, but you see I like the animal stuff. And let's see. Come on. My tripod is starting to kind of give in a little bit. There we go. And this is what oh, this is a big Buddha, I think. Yeah, big Buddha. Big Buddha, baby. But the thing is, is this drop was not very long, so I had problems with it. Can't be made any bigger. You know, it's not here. Let me get my tape measure from C here. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's see here. See, it's an only like a seven and a half inch drop. It's got to be at least a nine or a ten to get it over the shoulder comfortable. Okay. Oh, here's an old-fashioned baby. I hope I get down to my good one down there. This is a, a Kathy, Kathy Van Zant. I think that's it. That old-fashioned style. Kathy Van Zeeland. And I just couldn't bear to ever part with this one, I guess. Of course, I got it resale again. And I used to shop, I do shop, I haven't very much lately because I got way too much stuff at a church, everything a dollar. I mean, who can go wrong? How can I leave it there? But I should use this one because it's kind of fun. It reminds me of a Chanel bag I just saw. Was it Chanel? And they had pearls on there. So all those little dots <laughs> just on the internet. Okay friend of mine gave me this. It's a bag from Sahara. It's like a, a jean bag. Just a big bag. Ugh. I'm prepared for anything. Oops. I had to keep that bag. Okay, come on baby. Stay there for me. Nice. Okay. Uh, here I got this at a kiosk in the mall. I couldn't pass it up. Boho bag. Just... Nice colors, green. Just liked it. Have I worn it? Maybe once or twice. I don't know. This is a, a, a Covington bag, again, from Resell Resell. Has little side zippers. I like the animal interior. Couple side zippers. Um, the bags that have this divider inside are kind of awkward for me because what happens is I lose my, I'd much rather have it open because this kind of hides my stuff. I like to be able to reach in there and just see it. This divi dividers, they kind of mess me up, but I won't ignore it. Okay. Oh, looking again. There we go. Look at the coaches. I do have one in here somewhere. Okay, this little leather bag, older. Is I just can't bear to get rid of this one, too. I was going to donate a lot of my bags, but this one is a, a Beerns Baker. And it's so soft and sweet. Just a nice little bag. Anyways, my little doily is getting fluffed around a bit. Okay. Ah, here's one of my favorites. Plastic. Cheap. I love it. Love it. Love it. Let's see if it has a brand. No brand. But 
I suppose that's more of a winter bag. I really like this bag. It was fun. Still like it. Just haven't used it for a while. It's got all the compartments on the side. And see, and it has no shape whatsoever, but it's totally fine with me. And it even has the little feet on the bottom. Okay, here's another little cross bag. Another little cross bag. Yeah. Oh, here's one I got it at Burlington one day for the summer a few years ago. It, what brand is it? And I don't like that brand. It's Rossetti. But I like this bag because it had all these compartments in it and a lot of bright summery colors. A zipper on the back. Got to watch the... Oh, I'm not going. I'm, yeah, I am going 20 minutes. I am going to do 30, so I got to hurry. I got one more box to go through. Whoops. Okay, moving on. Another little resale leather, little crossbody. So cute. What's the brand on this one? See that one? Carlos Falacci, I believe. You guys can correct me, that's fine. Oh, here's a nice soft blue leather bag. Oh, I just go fast. That's leather addict. Nice big cross, nice big shoulder strap. Sorry. I get complaints when that happens, but I'm just trying to go fast. Okay. What's this? Oh, <laughs> this, is, this is another big old bag. Let's see who's the brand. Healing Arts, Dr. Congo. Well, Dr. Congo, your bag really makes me happy. Big thing. Big, 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 big. Big, big. Stuff it. I kind of like that one. Hmm. I just wear a different bag every day. Here is an old one. I can't get rid of an old Samsonite, but I, I don't know. It served its purpose. But, anyways, nice little Samsonite bag. I used to wear more bags like this, more. It's a little durable or whatever. Oh, and here's a beauty, a beauty, a beauty. Beauty. Fringe. I heard Fringe was coming back a few years ago. East Spirit. Uh, just plain. Very long. Crossbody, I would imagine. I was having trouble figuring out how to use these crossbodies because I'm so used to the shoulder strap. But I, I do like shoulder better than crossbody. Okay, and down here in the bottom, I have a coach. This is the real thing. The real thing. Big, big coach. Soft suede. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The coach big. I have no idea what year this is. And because I probably got it at the resale, you know that. Here's all the information. Just a big, open bag, just the kind I like. Okay, I'm going to put this on hold now. There's some of my bags there so I can open up the other box. Hold on. Okay, this... I think was 50 cents. I got it at the resale store. It's really cute though. It had a little sticky on there. I took off with uh, olive oil. Uh, any, it works like gook off, goop. Olive oil works better, no poison in it. And so anyways, they didn't want that. So not leather, but lots of little containers and cute. And this I got at Burlington, a little crossbody. I love the feel of it, and this is the brand. Tag still on there, $14.99. A friend of mine, she's got the bigger one. Ooh, I want her to bring me the bigger one. <laughs> Maybe I can trade with her. She's coming in from out of town. Maybe I'll have her bring it. Okay. Getting down towards the end. Here's, oh, I got some look on there. This is another Burlington, which I love, with a little, little gray monkey and kind of... It's a big bag again, the kind I like. It's a big stuff out with all my stuff. 
And let's see. What else I want to show you? Oh, I got a couple more good ones in here. This one is a Chico's brand. And I love this bag. This is very nice. It's leather. It was probably donated because of this little spot here, adding to the patina of the bag, which doesn't bother me. But I just love this Chico's. Big open bag. See, it has no shape whatsoever. It just falls down. It's like a, a braided, almost like a knit uh, leathers. Okay, better hurry here. Here is the Kathy Van Zant again. Summery bag, just big and open and fun. No rhyme or reason to these because they're all belong to other people first. Okay, hold on. Ooh, here's a here's one I got at Burlington. I got a black one, and this is just a cloth, a cloth bag or not some sort of material. Olivia and Joy. Um, it's just really good for stuffing and um, dragging stuff around and not getting... It's kind of a tomato color. I use the black a lot. The black was real durable for places I had to go and just drag stuff, you know. Nothing fancy, but this one I haven't worn out because the color is kind of different. It's tomato, but I should be able to get a use for it this year because I kind of liked it a little bit better. Okay, and these are bags from the past. What is this? I think Saks made these. Oh, this is Exhilaration. I had a black one I wore out that was Saks, I believe. Oh, anyways, can we finish this now? Oh, here, what's this one? This is probably a knockoff. It says, oh, what's this doing on here? Isn't that cute? Take that off. I might use it somewhere. It says Prada. But probably not the real thing because plastic. What do they call that a knockoff? Oops, sorry. Okay. Getting towards the end here. Just a... I don't know what material this is, but it's soft and it's summery and just fill it up when you go to the beach, you know, going out to the lake, going on the boat, just fill it up with your junk. Then, I think that's it. I got a few loose ends here. Oh, my big billfolds. Just a little purse there. What's this? Oh, here's that other billfold I was using. I don't know if I saw that before, but I traded it in for another one because this was so stiff inside. But this is kind of billfold I like. And I'm, oh, I got that Betsy Johnson now. Did I show that? I don't remember what I've showed you or not shown you. And in here, I just got some little, little soft, little leather doodads, something. This is a Dior, and I use this for years and because it's part of my history, I just don't get rid of anything, you know. But I use that for when I had business cards and such. It's a little soft little leather bag. Another little leather thing. Okay, I th oh, and a kitty. Okay, I think I'm going to end this now. I Here's that uh, black sack that I was talking about. My hair on there. I don't know if that's a sack or exhilaration. Okay, do I have anything pretty to show you at the end? I guess not, other than my kitty. Okay, um, did I show you most of the bags I have sitting around here? Um, did I use? I think so. Okay, bye.